In the last class, we discussed about the various steps involved in solving a numerical problem on local attraction. In this class, we will discuss about another problem, a similar problem, but there is a slight change in how we proceed with these steps. Okay? So, this problem, it says that the forebearing and backbearing of various lines of a closed traverse is given. We have to find the included angle and also find the local attraction that is possible in any particular line and find which line has a local attraction and also correct these bearings. So in this question, we will start with first finding the difference between the four bearings and back bearings given. That's what I've done here. The four bearing minus back bearing should be should be 180 degree. By checking all these lines, we'll get line C D as 180 degree. This, this means that line C D is free from local attraction. But in some cases, these angle, these bearings, that is one just above C D and one just below C D, that is be a back bearing of BC and four bearing of these, these D can also be free from local attraction. But it is not always the case. Sometimes it won't be the same. So we have to be very sure whether we are selecting these two are free from local attraction or not. It is better not to. Okay. In some questions, that is, I have added this because in some questions or some textbooks, we also consider these two values also free from local attraction. But sometimes it, it is not the case, like this question. That's why I took this question. This question, these two are not correct. So in step two, what we do is find various include angles like angle A, angle B, angle C. We already done this in include angle section. Those who have doubt can watch and with the include angle videos so that you will understand all these steps, right? So I will explain just one angle. Before carrying out these calculations, it is better to draw the figure. In this figure, if you draw starting from AB, you will get a closed clockwise traverse. A closed clockwise traverse will give us an exterior included angle and the sum of exterior included angles divided by 2 and plus 4 into 90. Okay, this is what we have learned. So, with that information, we can find out the radius angle. For example, angle A is divided by 4 bearing of forward line, that is AB, and 4 bearing of backward line. Since we don't have 4 bearing of AE, we convert it to back bearing of E. Then substituting the values, we get minus 15 degree 5 minutes. Since it is negative, we add 360 to it to get 309 degree 55 minutes. So what we are getting, these angles will be exterior angles. All these will be exterior angles. So we get all the exterior angles like this. Then in step 3, what we do is check. We check whether what we are correct, we have found out till here is correct or not. How do we do it? We add all these angles, that is A, B, C, D and E, we get 1260, 1260 degree 25 minutes. That is the summation, the actual values that what we got. The theoretical sum, that is, we using this equation, that is 2n plus 4 into 90, because it is an exterior angle, angle, and we get here n is equal to 5, because there are 5 sides, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sides, n is equal to 5, so showing n is equal to 5, we get 1, 2, 6, 0. Now we can see that there is a difference in angle, difference in the two sums, right? What is the difference? Difference is 0 degree 25 minutes. At 25 minutes is high over here in the actual value. So since 25 degree is higher, we have to reduce this 25 degree. But we can reduce this value from each angle by dividing it equally between all the angles. There are 5 angles, right? Angle A, B, C, D, E. There are 5 angles and we have 25 minutes. So we divide 25 minutes by 5 so that we can distribute this 25 minutes equally to all the angles. That's what we do. Okay, so 25 degree, 0 degree 25 minutes divided by 5, that is 5 minutes. We get 5 minutes, we have to subtract 5 minutes from each angle because 25 minutes is higher or more than what we require. Therefore, we have to reduce it so that it becomes 1, 2, 6, 0 degree. So, we reduce 25 minutes, which is divided by 5, 5 minutes from each angle. Okay. That's what I've done here. Each angle, that is angle A is 390 degree 55 minutes minus 5 minutes, that is 390 degree 15 minutes. Similarly, we have found out all the included angles. This is, the, this is called the corrected included angle. If we get the corrected included angle, we move on to step 5. What is step 5? Step 5, we find out all the corrected bearings. Now, what we did is first step, 
we found out which other line is free from local attraction. Second step, we found out the interior angles, all the exterior include angles. Then what we found is step 3, we did the check whether the values we found is correct or not. We found there is a slight mistake, so we corrected it by reducing 5 minutes from each angle. Now we call the character angles. In the last step is step 5, that is we have now we have to correct all the bearings except for C D. This is correct. So we have to correct all the bearings, all of the readings. So what we do is we start with the four bearing of C D itself. That's the best method to proceed. We start with the four bearing of C D. If we know four bearing of C D, that is 170 degree 15 minutes, then what's the back bearing? Back bearing is plus 180 degree because the value is less than 180, we add 180 to it. So we get 350 degree. 15 minutes. Now we know this value is correct, right? O bearing is given, back bearing is 180, that's the difference. So we know this value. If we know back bearing of CD, how can we find the bearing of 4 bearing of D? Now we have to take any angle which includes the 4 bearing of D. In angle D, we use 4 bearing of D minus back bearing of C. So here we substitute angle D value. Angle D, we have to, we should not substitute this, this value because this has some error in it. We have corrected the value as 3, 239 degree 15. Substitute this value here. That's what I have done here. Angle D, that is 239 15 minutes. I uh, rearranged it so that I will get 4 bearing of D. I have rearranged this one. Same equation I have used. I have rearranged it right here and uh, substitute angle D. Then plus back bearing of C. We know back bearing of C D as. Back bearing of CDS 350 degree 15 minutes. That is correct, right? So we substitute this value, we get 590 degree 5 minutes. Because it is greater than 360, we have to reduce 360. Minus 360, it gives 230 degree 5 minutes. The given value is 230 degree 10 minutes. Therefore, there is an error. This is the correct value. 230 degree 5 minutes. Similarly, we carry on the same steps. Next, since we have got this value, that is 230 degree 5 minutes, that is the actual value, add uh, subtract 180 from it to get the new back bearing. The new back bearing would be like 50 degree 5 minutes. 50 degree 5 minutes. It's not 49 degree 30 minutes. And the new value is 50 degree 5 minutes. Similarly, then the next value will be EA. We have to find out any angle which has which is having EA in it. This angle E is there, which is having 4 bearing of E. Substituting all these values, we will get the final answer as shown this tab record. This is the answer. So I hope you understand this question. This is the type of question we do with local attraction problem. So now we have discussed two problems and from this you will understand how to work out any numerical problem on local attraction by included angle method. Okay, thank you.